Uh, now trolling. Okay. So I'm here with Pete, Pete Hotlet. Is that right? Pete Hotlet? And you are with Omni Consumer Products. I said to am Omni. You are Omni Consumer Products. Now, if you've never heard of Omni Consumer Products, what Pete does is unique. For me, at least. He takes fictional products from motion pictures and he makes them real. So, um, Brando from the I got a good story about Brando. Oh, we were here last year with Brando. We're he, in 2008. He created the Brando drink from Idiocracy. Um, a Sex Panther cologne from Anchorman. He created Sex Panther after the fact. He's and wearing it right now. Actually, if you can't you? smell that on the video. Like, you know what? It's like, uh, I want to say a line from the movie, but I can't remember. Something like Donkey He's kind Piss. of a big deal. <laughs> but what else? Um, uh, True, True Blood. Blood. Yeah, huge! I mean, that was a that was like a huge watershed thing. He created the True Blood drink as a tie-in. Was it before or after? Concurrent with the show. And uh, man, I saw your banners and stuff all over Comic Con uh, two years ago, like three years ago. Yeah, yeah. That was all I saw. You hit that viral shit like no way. Um, and now. What is the latest one? Stay Puft Marshmallows. Stay Puft fucking Marshmallows from Ghostbusters. Stay Puft, he created the Stay Puft Marshmallows. How freaking awesome is that? So, no, let me ask you, I'm gonna hug this. When did you, how did you come up with the idea of making fake things real for the movie? Honestly, I did it because it was funny. Yeah. You did it for the lols. It was totally for the lols. Uh, that was like the only thing that did it. It super resonated with everybody out Absolutely. on the internet. And then it was like, well, maybe this is like a really good idea. And then it just sort of took off from there. And it's like, okay, I mean, I'm really good at solving problems. My background in college was art. So, I mean, designing stuff or whatever is totally relevant to what I'm good at. But, I mean, honestly, it's everyone that is super excited about all of this stuff that totally makes it work, right? Because if True Blood wasn't getting 12 million viewers a week, nobody would be buying the product, right? right, right, right. Like, if Ghostbusters didn't have this huge following, yeah. nobody would buy that. If Anchorman didn't you know, have this huge popularity, nobody would be interested in the product. Right. So, I mean, it's all about just understanding what, what people are interested in. What's the biggest request? What what is everybody always? What is it? Uh, I don't know. Dr. Maple with cookies for happiness. What, what what's the biggest request? So the biggest request I'm not going to talk about. Oh, of course because not. The previous what's the biggest request you'll talk about? The previous biggest request that I will talk about was Slurm, yeah. which another company ended up doing before we were able to do it. So you don't want anybody to poach your 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 territory. So let me ask you a question. Is there just a lot of stuff that you approach people with and they turn it on they turn it down saying, hey, you know what, that's our property. It's our purview whether or not we want to pursue that. And and how do you finally get somebody to like buy into letting you do it? And also when is Soul Glow coming? What's that? And also when is Soul Glow coming? Soul Glow from coming America. That is on the list. We're coming to America. Yes. Um, so, honestly, it takes about a year to do one of these because you have to get in contact with the right person. All the licensing. You got, you got to do the whole contract. You got to like figure out all the logistics of it. You got to find a new, you know, you got to like figure out how to do it. So, uh, it takes about 12 months. And so, I think I mean we've been around since 2006. And so we have. So as the years continue, it's just going to be more right, right, right. And I have a list that I'm not sharing sure. because that's a huge mistake. Sure, sure. Okay, sure. Absolutely. Keep that close. Soul glow, though. But you know the best part about this is you you are right now you are a proven success. Like you have a track record. You've done it. 
So people are going to start coming to you. I'm sure they already have. So there we are. Okay, so the movie hot dog now, you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the, the Russian drink, right? So they wanted me to do that. Yeah. We were in the middle of doing drink love when they asked me to do that. And I was like, I would love to do that, but you don't have the bandwidth to do it right. Yeah. Because you know what? The, the moment that I saw Hot Top, Hot Top Time Machine, which features like this cosmonaut drink or this Russian drink, I thought oh, to myself, watching this like I thought to myself, that is totally something that uh, I'm making consumer products guys. Well, Mike, I have a question. With it being so em and you can time again. With it being so endless, you got to have a list of a hundred thousand movie items that you want to make. I do. What? How's that struggle in your head? When you get to pick one a year. Well, so what really makes it make sense is, so with Stamp Up Marshmallows, they're doing a movie in 2011, and so there's this confluence of time. So it makes sense to do it now. Absolutely, build momentum. It, exactly, and I mean it's been around for like 25 years. So I mean it's a really good brand. So it's, it's exactly that sort of thing that makes it make sense. And it's, I mean, ultimately what it comes down to is, you know, I think Google has proven that attention and value are the same thing. You know, they've proven that through AdWords. And so when you have a company that has this enormous mind share like Ghostbusters or the guy who made a uh, Oh, no shit. Well, has turned out, right? Yeah. yeah. It really becomes a no-brainer to do that sort of thing. So I mean, it's really about your ability to predict what people find relevant and popular. I really did. And wait, one more question I have. I, I think I already know the answer to this, though. I'm in consumer products as a robocop, right? Okay. Like I'm totally in on all these jokes. Like I, I get what you're about. That's so that that's part of why the whole thing is funny. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, I I meant to say this before, dude. If you have like an extra half hour while you're in Boston, get in a cab. Tell them to bring you to Boston Police Headquarters in the South End. I swear, it, it had to have been modeled after the fucking police headquarters in Robocop. It looks easy. I get so scared. My legs numb up every time I drive past the president. I'll buy that for a dollar. You should buy that for a dollar. Um, thank you very much. Nice to meet you.